We live in a world of motion. Every change in motion is caused by a force. A force is a push or pull and has both magnitude and direction. Forces are not only responsible for starting objects moving, but also for stopping them. On Earth, forces such as gravity and friction will quickly stop a moving object. In the vacuum of space, where air friction is eliminated, objects continue to move forever, provided there are no other external forces acting on the objects. This is the reason that space probes and satellites need very little fuel. In 1687, Sir Isaac Newton published his Laws of Motion, which explained the relationship between the forces acting on an object and how the object will move. Newton's first law states that an object remains in a state of rest or uniform motion until it's acted upon by an external force. Newton's second law tells us how to calculate force. Force equals the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration it experiences. This will be the sum of all the forces acting upon an object, often called the resultant force. Newton's third law states that no force happens on its own. For every push in one direction, there will be an equal push in the opposite direction. This is why you have to dig your feet into the ground when pulling something heavy. The object will always pull you towards itself with an equal and opposite force to the pull you apply to it. By digging your feet in, you apply a force on the ground and the friction between your feet and the ground will be equal and opposite to this force, allowing you to remain steady. Newton's laws help us to make sense of the world of motion.